hello welcome back again today i would like to tell you people more about my experience with one of the nigerian embassies here in europe so my passport expired actually so i got to go renew my passport with my six children so on our way actually i first of all went with three of them then later we went uh, all of us like the whole family six Ah, so as I carry the first three go, there are informations that these people are not passing out. That be the problem. They have so many things, and especially if you come, you start to speak that their language. They will attend to you very well than somebody that doesn't speak this language. You understand? So as I reach embassy, although a friend of mine gave me the contact, so i contacted the agent the agent gave me an appointment he filled all the form everything just i would just go there with my old passport and other birth certificate of the children and my my passport photo just to renew my passport so two of my children they are applying for a nigerian passport so as we reach embassy nine uh, although the man told me actually that there's no booklet i said okay no problem say make her just renew the passport because it did me very urgent so as we reach embassy the man said there's no booklet and i said ah but i really need this uh, passport he said there's no but i said but i need to travel he said there's no booklet and there's nothing they can do that even if uh, they have booklet i'll pay extra 100 euro and i was ready to pay that 100 euro because the passport fee actually was uh, 130 so if you want extra uh maybe you want express you need that passport that same day you will pay extra 100 euro that you are paying 230 euro for children and then 250 for adults so as i as we enter inside the consulate took our pot, uh, photos everything our forms uh, they can't they give me a passport they gave me the slip collection slip say no booklets now I say, but I'm ready to pay. They should just give me because I don't want to travel down again to this country just to renew my passport because here in Germany, barely know they work. So we have to visit other country to renew this passport. I know service in Nigeria to become a Nigeria account, they very difficult again. So after every we return back to Germany. So they gave me collection date for fourth of May. Unfortunately, due to the COVID situation, so I was unable to travel down to this country to collect my passport. With hope, say these people, they don't print down the passport, they wait for me. So after every, during June, I said, okay, may I go collect this passport because time for holiday, don't they reach. As I went to the embassy, now I first of all contacted them. They say, Madam, no bootleg. And I said, what do you mean? You gave me collection date 4th of June, 4th of May. And now you are telling me no booklet. I need this passport. It's very urgent. I need to travel and I need this passport. They said there's no booklet. I was very, very nervous. And I told them, say, no, I really need this passport. I really need to take this passport along. So I took my children, my six children, all of them. The other three, where they said they don't, they don't apply. I collected their passport, carry extra money. We travel down to this country as we reach there now the man tell me say madam she she the consulate told you the man you contacted yesterday she he told you that there's no booklet now i say what do you mean this passport i don't do and since april and you gave me collection date for um, may 4th and now you are telling me no booklet why if it's in berlin they don't print all this thing down. They wait for you just to come and collect it. The man said, I should go to Berlin. I said, I can't go to Berlin. I started here. Which you people said, if I start here, now yeah, I go there, finish. So now go give me the passport, uh, the passport, make her they go. They say, hey, look at these people. They are coming from Germany. We told them to go back. There's nothing we can do. Now I say, eh, hey, that people, not them, now not be me. I just tell my children. I see that. I just saw that they were very, they were not ready to listen. I told my children, the sister of that, I said, oh yeah, you people should block the embassy. Nobody goes out and nobody comes in. So <laughs> my children, you know, children will be saying, I don't know if you understand. They just sat down in front of the entrance, the door. They, every, all of us will sit down there for ground. 
Now one of the lady come, eh, hey, madam, madam, no, 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 no. You can't sit here. And I say, why can't I sit here? I say, you can't sit here, uh, you know. They told you there's no book. Now I say, there's nothing I can do. Normally in Berlin, if they tell you no booklet, you go there the day they give you this information that you should come and collect this passport. Once you go there, the passport is there ready. You just take your passport and go. Why are you telling me there's no booklet? I say, hey, madam, there's nothing I can do. You have to go back. I say, I should go back to Germany with these children. Do you know the inconveniences? Do you know the stress? He said, there's not a... That's okay. I want to see the consulate. I can't go back. I must collect that passport. He said, hey, madam, look at the way you are displaying in front of the children. I said, let the children know that the Nigeria system has failed them. Yes, they were yesterday in German office. They gave them their passport. Why is the Nigerian um, embassy delaying them not to travel? So you should give me their passport so that we'll go. I don't even have time to talk. They said, no, there's nothing they can do. This one, all of a sudden, the consulate now came. The man called me for corner. Okay, mother, what can I do for you? I said, I want to collect the passport I did uh, in April. He said, madam, there's no booklet. And I said, no. There must be booklet. I need to go with this passport. He said, okay, we have only one booklet. Can you take it? And I said, even if it's one booklet, just give me. Let me go with that my own. Then the order of my children, I can come and collect their passport because I know that the holiday is canceled. We can't go. So I now said, okay, please. He now said he will give me the booklet for me. So I now said, okay, please. I need, uh, I need you to do me a favor. He said, what is that? So he now, uh, and I, I told him, please, these three people, I don't have appointment for them. The three of my children, I don't have appointment for them. And I really need them to renew their Nigerian passport. He said, okay, that do, I, um, do I have the Nigerian passport? Or is it new passport or to renew the old one? I said to renew the old one. So he now said, okay, I should give him the passport. And I gave him the passport. That was how they now renewed the passport and gave me collection dates to come and collect Lo and behold, I went there the next month. The whole passport was there ready. It's really, really difficult to renew this passport here in Europe, especially if you are not speaking this language. It's very, very difficult. But I pray they will, they will fix the system because it's really, really stressful and whatever. If you enter a German office, immediately you enter, you say you want to renew the passport. You are traveling, you want to renew your passport. Immediately, once you have your passport photo and everything, immediately, they don't run machine down for you. They don't give you the passport. I don't know why the Nigerian system, the Nigerian embassy, I don't know why they keep on stressing people. I don't even know. Although we are paying higher, I pay almost 250 euro. If you want to, no, if you want to take a, if you want express, you pay almost 250 euro. But if you just want it like, you want to reapply and then go back. You are paying 150 euro for adults and then 130 euro for uh, children. Please, they should fix the system and try and correct some errors in that embassy. Okay, thank you. Bye.